it kiddos. I'm back with another daily activity and I'm excited about this one. Jamie and I, we were thinking this last week about what different ideas we can do for you guys and we both realized that we did the same thing as kids and and it what it is, we would pretend to be on a cooking show. And it's really kind of funny because I do have a desire in my heart. I love food. I love to cook. Um, that's why I have this apron, I mean this chef's coat, because a friend knows that I love to cook and so she got me a chef's coat for Christmas this year. And um, I do dream one day that maybe I'd have my own cooking show. I love to bake sourdough bread, but I don't bake much at all. But we're going today, so let me start off by saying, Welcome to Miss Heather's cooking show. Today we are going to be baking banana bread because I have these sad bananas that nobody wants to eat because we forgot about them, we put them in a funny spot. And now I'm gonna make them into happy banana bread. The first step is you peel the bananas and you put them in a bowl. So first I did, um, just to let you know, I put my hair back, I washed my hands, I got all my ingredients out that I'm gonna need in one spot. That saves me time of running around the kitchen, frustration for not finding something right away when I need it. Um, I have my recipe here on my recipe um, holder, which I rarely use, but I like it. And yeah, so we got all our ingredients out. Now I'm gonna just set these aside because I don't wanna walk across the kitchen. Um, this is an interesting recipe. Oh, one second. I'm gonna walk away, but just stay right there. Just gonna grab a nap, uh, towel. I usually like to have a towel that I just throw over my shoulder. So, the recipe calls for one, two, three, four, five, six bananas. I have five, but only five of them go on the inside. So, they, they slice one and put it on top of the bread and then bake it, but I don't really like that much, so I always just need five. So I'm gonna put them in the microwave for five minutes. And you know what happens? Those bananas get all mushy and all the juice comes out of them. It's kind of interesting. So let's see what happens after five minutes in the microwave. Okay, friends. It cooked for four minutes and 25 seconds or 30 seconds, I don't remember, but a little under um, five minutes because what happens, the cellophane on top gets really, really big and I thought it was gonna pop, but it never does, but I just quit it early. Um, then I transfer the bananas, they look really weird, um, but they're still totally good to eat, to a sieve and I drain, it says to drain the liquid um, let me see, transfer the bananas to a fine mesh strainer over medium bowl and allow to drain, stirring occasionally for 15 minutes. You should have a half to three quarter cups of liquid down here. Ooh, I have a ton. Wow, I have a half a cup. So that's good. I don't have to work on that step anymore. After that, I transfer the liquid to a saucepan and I cook over medium heat until reduced to a quarter of a cup, about five minutes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take these bananas. Ooh, I don't know where to put them. I'm just gonna have to put them on the counter right there. It's okay, I'll clean up my mess later. And I am going to take this liquid, pour it into my saucepan and, oh, I turned on the wrong burner, silly me. Mm-hmm, okay. And once that's reduced, we'll get back to making the banana bread. Back to it, Summit Kids. Okay, so here's the reduced liquid. I'm going to add it to the um, done bananas and mix it up some. And then, what does the recipe say? It says to uh, mash, and then, then we whisk in butter and eggs brown sugar and vanilla. So here's some melted butter. I'll pour that in, and it does say to whisk. So we gotta get the right tool. 
Um, my bowl is a little bit big, so let me read down just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. This is a better bowl, and I'm gonna use the stand mixer because then that would mix it for me. Awesome sauce. That's, I'm just gonna get my whisk. Okay, put it on, on my stand mixer. Sorry, here, here, I'll move. I'll move to the side. You can stand back over there or you're good. I don't know. Okay. Let's mix that in. We're gonna get that going first. Oh, a little bit too fast, okay. Now it says to add the vanilla. So I make my own vanilla, even though I don't bake much. But I love, 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 love my own vanilla. Okay, and what else did it say? Remember eggs, brown sugar. Let's do that first. It's three quarters of a cup. It's one of the reasons why I like this recipe too, is because this is less sugar Doing three quarters of a cup is less sugar than the normal, regular, the typical bready crocker recipe or whatever. Um, that calls for a lot more. There we go. We'll get that going for a sec. Before we put the eggs in. Now we'll put the eggs in. There we go. One. Peeking just to make sure it doesn't have any shells. It's good good to crack an egg in a bowl. Like here, I have a little bowl thingy right here. It'll fit an egg. Just to make sure that you don't get any shells in there. No shells. Beautiful. Okay, both go in. We'll let it mix for a little bit. I'll use this little scraper thing in a second. Yes, for that set. Oh, goodness. Scraping the sides down. Okay. Goodness. Oh. Next, we pour the banana mixture into the dry ingredients mixture. So as that's going, I'm going to get another bowl. Just stay there, Garrett, because maybe do a picture of them, what, what it's mixing. No, nah, never mind. Okay. Garrett's my videographer today. Thank you so much for helping out. The flour is one and three quarters cup. I did not measure that out yet. So, hmm, just my little thingy. Oh, well, I'll use this. Okay, so. One, three quarters, so that's a quarter, and this is a half a cup. Are you checking on the bread, Jesse? Thank you. Okay, and then we also have salt and baking soda. I already measured those out before. What I like to do is, okay, just show, show the class. Show the class, Jesse. Look at my, that's jalapeno cheddar double jalapeno cheddar loaves oh my okay that's my favorite thing in the whole world that's why i like to bake the only thing i like to bake, really okay so it says to take your i'm so excited for the bread and the bananas i wasn't going to but we can okay we pour that into the flour smells delicious in my house it's like sweet from the bananas and savory from the bread. Okay, so now it says gently fold in the walnuts after this. Okay, so we've got that. It's gonna be good. I already pre prepared my pan so I can just pop this in the oven when it's ready. It's gonna be great. Okay. Mix in. It's almost all mixed in with the flour. I think that's good. Okay. 
now I'm not going to fold in the walnuts because half the kids don't like them, but I'm putting them in there because I do. So this is going to be so good. What are we going to do? Have this for breakfast or yeah, let's have this for breakfast tomorrow morning. I guess we could have it for dessert. Okay, let's smooth that out. So instead of mixing in the walnuts, I am going to just take my walnuts and lay them in the banana bread. Kind of like what she'd said, the recipe, which is from Cook's Illustrated, it's called the ultimate banana, what's it called, the ultimate banana bread. And you can maybe look it up online. It's a lot of steps, a little bit more work, but very delicious. So this goes in the oven at, <laughs> oh goodness, what does it say? I think 350, oh, no, that's for 55 minutes. You bake it for 55 minutes to 75 minutes, that's so long. And I will look for the temperature, um, but I'll tell you the temperature when I, um, after I'm done baking the bread, because I don't want to waste any more time looking. <laughs> All right, I hope you're having fun. So, I ended up putting the bread in the, uh, before I baked it, I put it in the fridge overnight, just because I wanted to have it for breakfast this morning. So here we are with this yummy banana bread. I, sliced a couple pieces. You can see it's nice and moist. Um, so would you like this one? Sure. Okay. So Max is, we're going to try a piece each. Now some suggestions could be to put butter on it or peanut butter or this yummy hazelnut Nutella spread. I don't know. That would be really yummy, but I think we're just going to try it by itself at first. Tell me what you think. Mmm. Mmm. It's already buttery. I think because I put so much butter in the pan before I put the um, batter in, it just makes it taste like it already has butter on it. And it, the recipe did call for melted butter in it, if you remember. It's so delicious. I hope that you enjoy maybe making ban banana bread. But what, I, what my idea is, is that you would film yourself or just pretend like you're on a cooking show too. Have fun with that, Summit Kids. Bye.